Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing video for you guys. Very excited to share. Uh, each one have story to tell, you guys all know. Uh, this one was on the waiting list. I don't know how long, maybe two, three weeks. And this I've had sitting in my room for three weeks straight. And I wanted to unbox with you guys, so I haven't opened. And this Chanel, this one was on reserve. So my essay, shout out to Shota. He is the best, like bestest. Amazing. And these uh, I will also unbox with you guys. And the last thing I will unbox is really unexpected purchase, but I've been wanting it and thinking of getting one. Uh, in uh, since 2015, I believe, um, and I just um, it's most expensive Chanel item that I have now and will have. You never say never, but it is very expensive. And anyways, I will share that, and everything in this video will be true unboxing. So I hope it goes well. Nothing looks. Like I'm drinking kiwi and grape juice. Um, I got it at H Mart. It's very good. Um, my bang. I keep seeing myself and I'm so sure I cut it this morning. I should have not done it. Anyways, it bothers me. I maybe keep touching in this video and excuse me for my congested voice or sound. I have bad 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 allergies so it's been really bad this week bear with me please and before i unbox everything and get excited and forget about what i wanted to talk about in this video i wanted to address my channel name as i talked about it and asked you guys what to change in my last unboxing video Thank you so much for the feedback and thank you for participating on my Insta story for uh, choosing between Love Karis and Lovely Karis and Love Karis won. So I was going to go with Love Karis. Guess what? It was already taken and I tried with the underscore love caris. I mean love underscore caris or love dot caris and I try many different ways. It was all taken and I didn't know. There's many many carises out there. I didn't research enough guys. It's my fault. Sorry guys. And also I got emails and DMs and just even on that video, many of you asked me to stay with LV Lover CC. That's what you're familiar with. And that's how I started, right? So the bottom line is I am going to stay with LV Lover CC and I will still have my name Karis, which I wanted to add and my channel name. I will just have it at the end of title like I always do. So yeah. It all works right. I hope you guys like this decision. Uh, let's unbox this first. Very excited. This one I've had, I talked about, right? I've had three weeks sitting right there next to my desk and I'm like, oh, I wanna open it, I wanna use it, but I wanted to open it with you guys. Let's have open this. Yeah, when you watch my, vlog some of you mentioned i think and said it's so cute and i i agree with you guys it is super cute you can see it is small leather goods here it is Dun -da -da -da. <laughs> yes 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 it is louis vuitton victorine damier bean print with the rose ballerine lining i actually got one whoops this way i actually got the monogram with the fuchsia lining last year or two years ago 
for my mother-in-law and she loves it. She I thought of getting the monogram Victorian with the rose ballerine, but I already have Rosetti, the compact wallet monogram with the rose ballerine lining. So I don't know. I mean, I think people have both and they're happy with them, but I wanted something different. So I went with the Damier bin and when I saw this, you know, in the store, and I was like, this is so cute. It's got the six credit card slots, three here and three there. And on the side, there is one and two pockets to put more cards there. And here is long and big cash section. And here you can open the zip open. And inside looks like so. And Code number is N61700, so that is that. It is super cute and it's made in France. My first Damier Bean print with the Rose Ballerine. It is so cute. I love red lining for Damier Bean, but this is different and yeah, very feminine. Love, love, love. Next one is this one, you guys know what it is, right? It's the Mon Mono. I ordered it when I went to uh, Jacksonville last time and this actually came super duper fast, faster than I expected. I was like, I'm not gonna even think about it because you know, I'm, I just cannot wait. And then my essay was like, it's already here. I was like, and you can see the little pocket. It's the booklet. It says Mon Monogram here. So it maybe talk about how to care for or what it is. And this is my first time seeing. I was like, my essay Julini, she kept texting me. Did you see it? Did you see Karis? And I was like, no, I haven't. I wanted to make a video. Here it is, guys. I am so excited. You see the fuchsia, wow. I went with C, C, my initials, and have the dot in between. I don't know, I like to have a separation in between. And this is, wow. This is a lot more gorgeous than I imagined. It comes with a little tag. And it says made in France. Now I want another mon monogram with the same print. I went with the white and the fuchsia and I thought this fuchsia will be the same color like dark shade of pink that they have as their permanent pink line. But yeah, Julini told me it's not. And I was like, it's a pop of pink, I love. Okay, one more shot of it. It is stinking cute. You guys know I love card holders. Super easy and fits in tiny handbags that I tend to use a lot. You see on the back, there's one middle and the front. So super nice and it's very thin. Love card holders. And this, I will tell you guys how this wears later on down the road because yeah, this is gonna be forever piece, right? Okay, this one, I have a bit of story to talk about. So let's skip that for now and let's move on with this one. Uh, I don't know which one this is because uh, looks pretty similar and these also purchased you can see separately my SA Shota in Hawaii speaking of Hawaii guys we are going to Hawaii pretty soon for our ninth year anniversary <sighs> I am very excited my husband also so yeah cannot wait and cannot wait to go let's open this one I don't know which one this is, so I cannot start talk about it, but small leather goods, you can see, and there is the little, uh, okay, now I know what it is, a pop of color. <laughs> you guys all know how much I love pop of color, small leather goods, and let's see, 
So this dust bag or the pouch is really, really nice. It's like when you get the makeup things from Chanel. Anyways, let's see. Do you see the pop of color? <gasps> yes, it's yellow. So this is beautiful, beautiful yellow color. Card holder, you guys know I love their card holder. And inside, it's got the things to uh, keep the shape of the card holder. But anyways, it keeps the shape. So in the front, there is a little pocket, one pocket, and there is big pocket where you can put all the cards. They have the yellow mini and they have other SLGs in the same color. So check this okay. out. This is the second Chanel item I got. I haven't seen it in person. I ordered it on the phone and give a big shout out to my gorgeous friend Jacqueline she had hers in the color blue I don't know how long ago she had it on her Instagram uh, I absolutely loved hers and it's so cute you're gonna see what it is um, comes with the dust bag like so it's a drawstring and wow that is one very cute little coin purse. Wow, this is bigger. It looks definitely bigger than my Louis Vuitton coin purse. Um, I asked Jacqueline about hers and she said it is tiny but it fits a lot. I thought the lining would be wipeable one like Chanel tend to make for like old case but that's all right and like the authenticity card fits in nicely but it's just one i don't think it's gonna fit a whole bunch but at least you can have a credit card that you use mainly and the driver's license so super cute and this is going to go really well with what you will see right here let me show you guys this uh it was very hard to get. One of my essays in mainland uh, had this one reserved, but he said it hasn't gotten there and just, you know, seems like he wasn't getting it. And then another essay in mainland uh, in Orlando, he said maybe, you know, available soon, but it wasn't. So they have different colors to choose, but then I wanted to stick with this one. And when I asked my, you know, essay I normally get in Hawaii, Shiota, he got it for me and he found it in mainland and he transferred it for me. So I'm like, what's the deal? I don't, I don't know how that works, but Anyways, I have one and let me see. I've been really wanting to open this and inspect to see if, you know, if there's any uh, bit of issue that possibly have and I have experienced before. So let's have it open together. And here inside have the tissue paper and Chanel sticker here. Let's see. Okay, it is small. You may think it's, what do you call that bag? Uh, a lot of you guys loved when I had uh, the picture and the vlog. Let's see, I cannot wait to open. Wow, it's good. It is good. Wow. This is stinking cute. The sticker is still there and on the side looks amazing. I know my obsession for Chanel mini flaps, it's real. And I love rectangular because it has longer chain strap, but I wanted one at least square mini and I wanted it to be black caviar leather and this happened to be let me open this this happened to be silver hardware and shiny silver you guys know I love 
Okay, this season, I know people have different opinion about the caviar leather because each season, Chanel release and make different type of caviar leather. So this time, some people think it's the best caviar ever, but some people think it looks a little bit plasticky because it's pretty shiny. Uh, if you like matte finish caviar leather, this season is not the time for you but if you like shiny and a bit of pearly and iridescent finish this is right one and it's puffy and very nice love it and it's got the shiny silver hardware it's got the plastic right there still and inside looks like so It's the one with 25. <laughs> my hair, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> it's like covering my face and everywhere. So inside looks like so. It's made in Italy and the pocket right front part and the zipper pocket right here. And on the back, there is tiny little pocket. Okay, let me show you guys how it looks on me. So this is it and it is very cute. The rectangular mini sits longer, but square mini sits shorter. And it is very, very, very cute. So this perfectly matches, right? <laughs> so that's why. You can see it like it's pearly and shiny and iridescent looking black. So yeah, not matte at all. Oh, and I also wanted to show you guys uh, my new bag charm from Lindy's. And it's not here yet, unfortunately. I wanted to you know, show you guys together in this video, but it's gonna arrive here tomorrow. So I will have a separate clip to show you guys the unboxing of it. I got a new bag charm. It's dreamy unicorn. It's got beautiful colors all together and fluffy and gorgeous. And you guys all know I have 15% off of your entire order promo code for her website. So LV Lover CC 15 off. So yeah, use it whenever you shop on her website so you can get discount. And let me show you the last Chanel item that I have to share with you guys in this video. It's right here. I don't know if you guys could guess it. It is from Chanel, of course. I talked about it. So here is the booklet. It talks about the watch. And let me show you guys. It is gorgeous. Are you guys ready? <laughs> here it comes. Uh, how pretty and blingy it is. I don't know if I'm showing you guys right uh, or the lighting is closer to it. It's got almost two carat diamond and black ceramic. And um, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful watch. It's called Moon Pace. It's got tension opening bracelet right here and let me see if I can show you guys in this way the one that I am wearing right now it is gorgeous as well it's the rose gold it's from Vincera I'll have the link to it down below but this one is the black ceramic and I got this from one of my subbies. She asked me to keep her private in this video. So I'm not gonna mention her name, but I chat with her sometimes and ask her about this and that. She's got beautiful collection and just great, great taste she has for luxury. So this, I asked her about J12. I was going to purchase one in Hawaii when I go this time. So. She told me about this and that, and then, yeah. The retail price of this watch is like having like two Birkins. I am very thankful that she let me have it with good price, and I just cannot believe it looks brand new. And I don't really think that she really wore this watch. She's got beautiful watch collection, and 
just to die for. This little pouch, it says Chanel, so cute. And it has a little pen so I can change the date and here moon paste that you can change around also the one that i thought of getting was white or black ceramic with just 10 diamonds and yeah that will be very beautiful and simple so forth but this oh my goodness i just couldn't resist when she offered it i cannot stop looking at it it blinks it's really blingy i've been saving up to upgrade my car and this I couldn't resist. I just need to wait longer <laughs> to get a car. Uh, anyways, very, very happy with the purchase and yeah, amazing. Should I open first or talk first? Maybe I should open because I know you guys. And when I watch the unboxing video, yeah, I like to see what's in the box first. <laughs> Let's have it open. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Can you guess? Can you guess what it is? Oh, it's so light, lightweight. So it is canvas and it is handbag, right? Um, yeah. Okay, before I show you guys this, let me talk about the Marigenin. I don't think I pronounced it right. The handbag that I unboxed with you guys in my last unboxing video. That bag, um, yeah, it was perfect. But after I uploaded that video, many of you, which I didn't expect, were saying it looks really similar to your Pache Matisse, especially reverse monogram. I did agree with that, but I kept trying to think they look different. I mean, they are different handbags, right? And they look different. That's why I purchased it. But I was thinking I should exchange it to the red one or the black one. But the black to me, you know, wasn't really speaking, but red they didn't have at the store. So I let it, you know, go back to store. I ship it back to get the red one. But then this handbag became available. This was on the waiting list. So yeah, I don't know. Not yet. I don't know 100% if I'm going to go with the Marigenin red color because it looks totally different than my Pache Matisse. And Pache Matisse reverse monogram, I love it so much. And I'm going to keep it, yeah, of course. I'm not thinking of letting it go. So this oh yes yes here i got this is palm spring size pm i thought of going with gm but um yeah i wanted like in between size not too big not too tiny like the mini one i love my palm spring mini and still adore it i have a bit of like love and hate relationship because of the shoulder strap digging in and yeah that bag is so cute and i always wear a crossbody so I don't really need different size bags that are so, I mean, exactly the same. But I wanted carefree monogram canvas handbag or backpack from Louis Vuitton. So I asked my SA Giulini, uh, I don't want Palm Spring. I have already mini. I don't want to get another one in the bigger size. So do you have a backpack that has no Vachita leather, no untreated leather and monogram? and it's not too uh, like masculine. And she said, only Palm Spring, you've got to get Palm Spring PM or GM if you want that. And I was like, I already have many, you know that. And anyway, she said, yeah, many people get more than just mini. So I was like, then I started to think about it. But then anyways, when I went to Louis Vuitton store last time, you guys have seen me in that vlog uh trying the same one on with the limited edition print i hope you guys can see it i cannot see myself but it is a really good perfect size for me and it's got the padding the shoulder strap and it has no vegeta leather so it's black and leather love uh so that was the main point of me getting this one so <laughs> the air paper making lots of noise so 
oh yeah it's made in france it's not us i thought it would be made in us because now us makes a lot anyways this is the booklet it came with and the pocket right there and this bag is going to have like three bottles of water for my kids and myself going to park and have bits of stuff inside and the front you guys all know about this handbag or backpack <laughs> and the front it's actually generous space then my mini and on the back just have the little padding which is gonna make it more comfortable but it's gonna make it a little bit warmer anyways it is cute and i love it guys my camera battery just died and we're at the end of this video anyways and i don't know where i stopped or when it stopped filming so yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching this far, please let me know in the comment section down below what I should give away. I've been thinking of doing another giveaway on my channel, but I cannot think of which one. I tend to think a lot and I think I tend to change also. I'm like, I don't know if people will like this one or that one. Yeah, we'll see. And um, thank you so much for watching again. And if you enjoyed watching, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.